Hi, welcome back to Shotoku Tech. I finished making this video La Potato Accessories and I still wanted to resolve the Wi-Fi issue. I have a couple of these TrendNet Wi-Fi dongles. They're just not detected by Raspberry Pi OS connected to the La Potato. Yeah, they have an article mentioning that you can compile drivers for your various Wi-Fi dongles, but I want something that's plug and play. So I'm on the loverpie.com page for La Potato, and I see there's this Wi-Fi USB dongle on the same page as all the other accessories for La Potato. And it's on sale for five bucks, so I went ahead and got a couple of them, you see right here. And I'm going to plug one of these into the USB port on the La Potato here. Okay, so we're going to want to make a WPA supplicant configuration file. You can't do it directly in File Manager because you're not sudo. So I'm going to run sudo nano and we'll go ahead and compose our WP supplicant configuration file here. Let's type out everything we need in a WPA supplicant file. Yeah, I got to go back and add my white space here on those three lines just to make it look right. Now, control O lets us write the file out, and we're going to type the path to the boot directory and name the file WPA supplicant conf. There we go, it was saved successfully. Let's just go verify. Back to the boot directory, there's our WPA supplicant configuration file, and it's got everything just like we typed it. Okay, so we're ready. I'm going to go ahead and shut down the La Potato and we'll plug in the USB Wi-Fi dongle there. And I'm taking out the network cable too. Good riddance. Now let's power on the La Potato. Ah, darn. No network connections found. Yeah. I have a couple of tricks up my sleeve. You know, that top middle port, we used that for flashing Raspberry Pi OS onto the La Potato to be able to flash the EMMC. So I was thinking we w shouldn't use that port. That's why I used the bottom one. But now you see here, I go ahead and move it from that bottom middle USB port to the top. And there we go. Wi-Fi comes up and we're attached to our network. But I'm getting terrible download speed here. A third of a megabit per second, that's just terrible. I suspect that maybe those 2.4 gigahertz keyboard and mouse might be interfering with it somehow. Yeah, you see there, my, for my laptop, I've got pretty good stats there on my Windows laptop. So I went ahead and pulled those dongles out and put in a USB mouse and keyboard. And guess what? It didn't make any difference whatsoever. <laughs> yeah, this is absolutely not useful to be browsing the internet at a third of a megabit per second. Okay, so what do we do now? I have an idea. I moved that USB Wi-Fi dongle to the outside top USB port. And look, I'm getting pretty useful speeds here. Six megabits download. What was that, 12 megabits upload? Oh, 20 megabits upload. Wow. Okay. And it's interesting, the Amazon product page has this reference to neighboring USB ports should be unobstructed. So there, the Wi-Fi dongle itself seems to be sensitive as to what USB port it is. I know there's people talking about USB ports on La Potato having various problems, but uh, it seems to be associated with the Wi-Fi dongle as well. But I hope you found this interesting. And if you're looking for Wi-Fi, this is the one for you. Go ahead and leave a comment down below. Give this video a like. And before you go watch more of my La Potato videos, please click on subscribe. Thank you very much.